hi guys uh, i happen to be one among the few uh, very few who received the first uh, set of uh, air bars i actually pre ordered it a couple of months back and i just received it a uh, day before so this arrived in uh, about a 2 foot long tube and there isn't much of a protection or anything like that it's not taped and all it just has a small cap like this on uh, both the ends you can just uh, remove the cap and inside the cap you find uh, the actual device uh, which has been rolled this something looks like a baking paper or a, some kind of a peel this device actually costed uh, 69 euros and uh, i paid uh, 10 euros for shipping as well so i was expecting some kind of a bubble wrap or some kind of a thing like that okay so this is the actual device here i ordered a 50 15.6 inch version so all those who ordered the the 11 inch version or the 13.3 inch version uh, are still yet to get it so they are first dispatching the 15.6 inch version so we, i incidentally happen to be one among the few so here uh, the back they have given the uh, usage instructions and here the different versions of the air bar and here they have the serial number and the part code Over here, the box pretty much itself is uh, sealed using a thin uh, plastic uh, wrap. And here uh, they have given the highlights of the device, which uh, says a uh, plug and uh, plug and play or a plug and touch. And then uh, it says a touch using any object. We'll test it out. and then it says a uh, pinch zoom features and all uh, to be present and then uh, it says it works with uh, windows 10 windows 8.1 uh, and chrome os as well i have removed the plastic cover uh, which was lining it so inside we have got the instruction manual it says that uh, this is a class 1 laser product okay and then this is placed inside a nice cavity a short usb cable and uh, right behind here uh, this is a some kind of an adhesive tape if you peel this there is a magnet and for the first time when you place this against the computer this adhesive tape containing magnet sticks on to your uh, computer and uh, each and every time it is more or less like a uh, placing it against the magnet so the first time when you place it you need to be more careful so here you have the arbar logo the 15.6 inch uh, measurement and here uh, you have the tiny led indicator over here so let us go ahead place it against the computer and see it in action so first things first it is not as easy to mount the air bar as they indicated so there are two guidelines on either side one on to your left and one on to your uh, right there are two white guidelines they should align up uh right up with the edges of your uh, screen bezel and the top of your air bar should align with the uh, top of your bezel and uh, please do not uh, remove the uh, adhesive sticker uh, un unless and until you are sure about your uh, placement and the thing is once it is uh, placed th this is really difficult to get the magnets out of here
the thickness of the magnet is very negligible and uh, it will not be a problem when you close your uh, computer. So in order to use uh, the air bar for uh, right clicking, just press and hold for simulating a right click. On the other hand, double tap for uh, left click. The pinch and zoom works very smooth and so does the scrolling. The minimize works 10 times out of 10. Um, unfortunately, the maximize or restore and the close uh, doesn't work that smoothly as your uh, minimize option and I should say the Restore worked about uh, five times out of ten and the close uh, say two two times or uh, even one once just once out of ten times So that is it about the basic uh, interfaces Getting uh, to the other aspect of it about the touch response. So let's open uh, paint Paint is the great place uh, where you can uh, find the touch response of the system. And so the first uh, it picks up my finger uh, beautifully and if you see here even the smaller it picks up even the smallest turns over here and But one thing uh, which I don't like about this is the phantom touches. So even if I don't touch the screen, uh, the air bar uh, picks up the interception of my finger and thinks it, uh, process it as a uh, touch response. Paint is a great place to check uh, touch sensitivity. You have all these icons which are closely uh, placed between them and As you can see, uh, it, it the touch response is uh, good. I should not. Uh, as you can see, the touch response is good, but not excellent. Uh, it can uh, distinguish between the adjacent uh, color cells over here when I try and touch. But still, uh, the major problem uh, which I come across is the phantom touches. So even without me touching the screen. Uh, the air bar process it as a touch just because uh, it detects my finger as an interception to the uh, laser uh, beam going out from the air bar over here next aspect of the uh, test say I have got uh, different objects here for testing a pencil a chopstick so I just picked this up uh, as they showed uh, in the demonstration video for a chopstick to work with their system and so I have got uh, three different pens to test with so first uh, let's get started with the pencil uh, if you see here the pencil works uh, but there are there are some small breaks in it even uh, it doesn't uh, pick up the straight line as perfectly so you can uh, you can see some uh, breaks in it so but if I switch to the other side the fully wooden side it is like knife on butter it's very smooth and there isn't any breaks in the uh, curves here 
it even picks up the small bends which I try to create. Since the back side of the pencil uh, worked, I thought the chopstick uh, would work smooth as well. But it wasn't the case to be. Uh, even the chopstick uh, had some breaks in between. It was just like the graphite side of the pencil. It worked uh, on occasions. You can also test the accuracy of the touches as you have got several icons here very close to each other. So you can even uh, test the accuracy of the touches over here. And then coming to the uh, pen, pen this side of the uh, this pen didn't work at all. So it worked very close to the air bar down here so once i went above it failed to work the plastic also worked uh, much similarly to the uh, graphite side of the pencil off and on off and on uh, but not uh, very satisfactory and so I should say that uh, this was not uh, created for uh, an interaction uh, of this sort for um, say minimizing or maximizing or and again uh, the windows was designed uh, with mouse in mind and that is why you have all these icons very closely spaced say for example in an android uh, which is fully a uh, touch based uh, an operating system you don't have icons this close to each other with the like the uh, minimize maximize and the close button i feel uh, the sketch artist will find it uh, very useful um, more than anybody else and so if you see here uh, this is what an ideal uh, touch layout should look like you have all these icons distinctly spaced between them. You, ha you have a sufficient amount of gap for the these kind of uh, touches to work. So in the normal window, the close didn't work. But in this case, it works beautifully. So I feel uh, this is the kind of an environment uh, where the air bar would work uh, than the conventional uh, windows environment. So maybe uh, you cannot use the air bar standalone without the keyboard and mouse but uh, it is an uh, excellent complement to your existing keyboard and mouse i hope uh, you found this an insightful and useful thank you